How are you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. So we have a little bit of a uh, educational video today. You guys know them, you love them. Tesla the electric eel. Wait a minute. I was going to introduce my buddy Joe from their world aquatics. You guys know him, you love him. Slow Joe that is. Wow, thanks man. But he, <laughs> he's, he's uh, spending his Saturday morning here. He is coming over to do a few experiments on Tesla the electric eel. Alrighty, so like I mentioned, we have a few experiments we're going to want to do on Tesla the electric eel, yeah. but we did, did the intros, we're going to have fun doing it today, you know, some of us might not be having fun, mm -hmm. but you guys are going to be seeing that today, but I'm going to turn the reins over to Joe and he's going to explain each experiment, yeah, what our fun. ideas and how we plan on doing it, and then we're going to jump right in and we're going to start doing it. All right, guys, uh, obviously we're here at Ohio Fish Rescue, and we're actually going to be testing Tesla, the electric eel. Now, Tesla, a lot of you guys might not know this, but even though it's an electric eel, electric eel actually falls in the family of the night fish, kind of like the Aba Aba that's over here and a lot of the different clown knights that are within this room. This guy here, you can see on the bottom, maybe uh, Josh, you can kind of get a little closer here. If you notice that fin that's on the bottom of the animal, that's actually the anal fin, and that anal fin, the way it moves, see how it's traveling from forward to backwards when they go back and forth? If it travels in one direction, the actual eel can go forward. If it travels in the opposite direction, it goes backwards. It's actually an amazing thing on this guy. A lot of things, uh, a lot of things that people don't realize also is that the electric eel, for all these years, we kind of thought that there was one. It wasn't until about 2016 that we're now finding out that there's actually three different styles of electric eels. The electricus, the varari, and the voltai. The voltai is actually the biggest of the three eels. We're talking that this thing can actually get eight to nine feet in length. And instead of like the voltages that you hear about 600 volts, the big boy can produce upwards of 860 volts. All right, guys, so one of the tough things about the electric eel is trying to decipher one from the other. So there's actually three. We talk about three different styles of electric eels. But when you look at this eel, uh, if you had all three side by side, the only way to tell one from the other would be by the head structure and the way the spores are on that head as they're a little bit more separated apart from one to the other. The other thing we're talking about is the actual anal fin on, on how it's actually designed. But without having all three side by side, it's really hard to tell who is who. That being said, we don't really know which one Tesla really is. So, you know, one thing for sure, we can test him today and see what he's producing. Now, Tesla is really kind of a baby. He's probably coming up on 34 to 36 inches, and he's got a long ways to go. Now, what we're going to do today is I brought some test equipment. And we've actually made up some probes here out of copper pipe. And we actually put on some end caps here so that the eel could not get hurt or damaged by going past the pipe. So we've got this all sweated in, polished. And by doing this, we're actually creating a bigger surface area within the, the body of water here that actually helps us pick up the reading that we, we, we require. So one of the first things we're going to do is uh, we're going to, I don't want to say agitate them a little bit, but we're going to make it so that we can show you how we can actually produce a voltage from him with the meter. We've also brought a speaker today so we can actually bring on some noise. All right, so you guys remember a few weeks back my dad had shown you how Tesla can light up this little Ohio fish rescue sign. Well, this was a part of a larger experiment that uh, me and Joe have been talking about for a few weeks, but he went ahead and made one of these contraptions. Now some of you are thinking, what is that? Well, we're gonna let Joe explain this, explain the theory and the science behind it. Well, there ain't much going on here, but obviously this is just a normal half inch copper pipe. We actually sweated on some end caps, obviously so the eel would not get hurt or damaged when he travels past it. And we just went ahead and soldered it right in the back. It's a 14 gauge wire. I got a tie wrap right here to secure it. So we're, we're good to go as the weeks go by. So the 
theory behind this is we stuck just the ends of the wires from this sign into the water. So now that this is salt loaded on, it has more of a contact area or surface area with the water to be able to pick up that electric charge. And we actually proved this theory to be true. It did, does brighten up this, uh, or light up this sign just a little bit more than it was with just the wires in the water. So we can go ahead and demonstrate that. We uh, wanna go ahead and move Mr. Tesla over there. He will light this sign up and as he swims by the, the probes, you can see the little bleeps and then when he eats is when he actually produces the most amount of charge. Look at that. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter. And by no, no means are we hurting the animal, we're just slowly tapping the side. Yeah, so when the eel is sitting there dormant, he's not really producing the charge. He might be producing something that's, you know, so minuscule to size right now that the light can't pick it up. But as he moves through the, the water, you can see he is producing that charge. But the most uh, impressive charge I've seen was every time I feed them. I normally feed at nighttime, the rest of the lights are out, and this little sign here is going absolutely crazy. With the voltage that obviously the, the eel is producing, now what can we do the light? We can actually hook up the wires to the probes and actually make this speaker chirp out. So let's see what we got right here. You guys can hear that with all the background noise. Now let's go ahead and do that one more time. They heard the speaker. I have just the ends of the wires on the light in the water. So you can see the light flickering just a little bit. You can see how much more of a, a dimly lit sign that is as opposed to when they were hooked up to the probes. So we've got the light going and the speaker going. All right, so you guys seen two of the experiments. You guys seen the light, you heard the speaker. That is uh, pretty nifty if you ask me. All that's coming out of Mr. Tesla here. Now, I don't know if he is a male or a female, but uh, I want to hit on something that we talked about a little bit earlier. We were saying that he's always emitting some sort of pulse. Well, he's always producing a low voltage. Uh, if you want to think of kind of like a, so, a sonar for a submarine, th this is how knife fish actually navigate through the water. They admit a low voltage pulse through the uh, water that helps them navigate and actually hunt for, for their food. So they're in small puddles down in South America. You know, sometimes in the dry season, they might be in four inches of water and they're waiting for prey to step in this puddle and as soon as something disrupts that uh, you know, low voltage field, they can chime in on it and they'll attack. And that's when they really light someone up. You've seen these guys at six foot. There's stories of them dropping horses. There's videos online of these guys dropping full size humans, which is pretty neat. So we have one more experiment we are going to talk about. So we're gonna set up for that and we'll come right back with you guys. All right, to try and loop this back in, we were just talking about that kind of like a sonar pulse. Well, Joe hooked up his meter to the, the uh, tank here through these probes. So you can actually look at that reading and see every time he's pulsing. So you can see it's moving very minuscule. That's not enough to light up the light right now or hear it on the speaker, but it is happening. So it, that's proof right there. We got the... Uh, meter hooked up through the little alligator clips to the end of the wires going to each of these copper probes that are about three foot apart in the water and there's Tesla sitting calm as can be at the back of the tank and there goes that little uh, reading again it's small but it's there <laughs> alright so you guys one to test I want to prove real quick and hopefully this works so Better you than me. Yeah. We're actually going to put our hand in the water with Tesla to prove you really don't get shocked. Now, just to kind of cover, what's your name again? Aaron. 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 Yeah. Just to kind of cover Aaron's butt. Aaron's going to actually pick up his left leg, right? So the way current flows, a lot of people don't realize this. I mean, if you're watching this video, definitely remember what I'm getting ready to tell you. If he brings out both of his hands, right, positive, negative, it could be an AC source, it could be a DC source. 
when, when you have voltage goes through the body, it's going through the heart, and you're going to get electrocuted, and that's how most people die. If Aaron actually raises his left leg, voltage, technically and conceivably, would actually go right through here and down his left leg. If he reverses it, put that one down, put that one up, and now the voltage goes from here to here, it's going through his heart. He's in trouble. And a lot of people don't realize, but 0 0.05 milliamps will fiddle rate your heart. Which means you've got to get retuned. 0.5 milliamps, a half an amp, literally just a half an amp, you're dead. And that's all it takes. So the test that we're going to do right now, he's going to go ahead and pick up his left foot. He's going to go ahead and put his left hand in the water. Left, what's that? Right, so right now, I'm right. Oh. his hands are in the water. Right? Are you getting shocked? No, no shock. The Tesla's oh, yeah. woken up a little bit. Now, Josh, we don't have a light on, so we don't know what's going on. You're not feeling yeah. anything. No, I'm not getting shocked yet, but I'm scared. I'm scared. You <laughs> should be scared. Because in reality, I'm actually yeah. a drywaller. Right. I don't do electrical. Oh, so gosh. everything I just said is wrong. <laughs> All right, so let's put these probes back in the water to show you that there's actually current in the water. Oh, here we go. This one here. There we go. So now let's do that again. And then we'll, we'll explain the theory behind this. So, see, there, you see the, the lights lighting up, but you're not being electrocuted. No, I'm not. But I, I tell you what, my brain is making my fingers thinking that they're tingling. I promise you they're not, though. It's just my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is this, Joe? That... It's a great question. All right, so we've got Joe. Even though we just proved that you don't get shocked in the water from your electric eel, I don't know how that works, but he's still using his dielectric gloves there. Yeah. But he attached the probes to the back of the wall about two feet apart, so that should be our, our best placement for getting the light to light up and the speaker to make some sound. So we're going to have this as a permanent fixture on the, the tank. I watch Mr. Tesla there. You don't want to get uh, touched by him. We're here. Go ahead and touch these for a second. I think we'll be all right. No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Well, okay, guys. Now for the third or fourth test. What is it? The fourth test? Uh, it's this experiment number four. You guys just seen the light, the speaker. You saw my friend <laughs> stick his hand in the fish tank. Did not get shot. Now we got experiment number four. All right. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. Zach, Wait, number one guy. Did you say Zap or Zach? Z could be a Zach. <laughs> I'll change it. We're going to put everybody here in series. So everybody's going to be holding hands here, five people. We're going to pull the eel completely out of the tank. We're going to put him here in this trough. We're going to calm him down for a little bit. And what I'm going to do is with the gloves on, I'm going to put these pads on the eel. And we're going to get a voltage that's going to go to Zach. Go to Julie, go to Joe Rockwell, Mrs. Metalhead, and the one and only, is he the ultimate fish keeper? The ultimate fish keeper. <laughs> the ultimate fish keeper. Likewise, we also have the sign right up there, so when that lights up, you know there's current going through these. We're going to prove it right here. Screening. Okay. Also, the analog meter is going to pick up, and you're going to see a true voltage from the electric eel on this analog meter. So with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and pull out the eel and get ready. All right, guys, so the electric, the electric eel now is out of the tank. As you see it, we got it in this trough. Everybody here is in line. So we're all in the series. Exactly number one, Julie, my wife. I can't believe she's actually going to do this. This could be... No, no, I can't believe she's your wife. This could be divorce right here. This could be the end. So Big Joe Rockwell, Mrs. Metalhead, and Josh. I knew it. He's wearing an Iowa shirt. I knew you were from Iowa. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is just a little <laughs> test. Anybody? Nothing. 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 <laughs> I jumped, but I didn't feel it. Nope. I was feeling a little tingle. Yeah. You feel a tingle? I felt it right where my finger touched the probe. Nothing. 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 No. Keep going. Just keep yes. trying. Take one person Who wants back out? I'm still getting first. I'm not feeling it. I think I'm in first because I'm feeling it. Are you? This might be, yeah. 
Nothing. All right, one of you guys walk one, out. One bite out. <laughs> now here, test number two. One person's out, so the resistive values are not going to change. Here's the first kiss. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He scared me. <laughs> Rich just about ran over to you. Well, what about now? I was so running to just jump over to you. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I just feel it. Like you feel a little tingle? That's right. You want to take all of them? All right, another man out. Another man out. Good. Julie out. Big Joe could be taking it off for all we know. Okay, here's just a little touch. Nothing. 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 Oh, oh, I got a pulse in your hand. No, I got no, I got I got a pulse in his hand. Do it again. I got a way stronger in my left hand, a little bit in my right. Yes. There's a pulse in his hand. Alright, you're out. We'll play a game. The two big YouTubers. Let's go. <laughs> right here, buddy. Where's it going to be, guys? It's going to be Zach or Josh. <laughs> He's holding it against us. Oh, All right, come on, Josh. Just a little one. Just a little one. <laughs> Nothing? You got a little Here, Josh, you can get All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yep. Okay, I got that one. Oh, yeah, it was there. It was there. My left hand, my I got it all the way over here, though. Felt yeah. I felt it all the way through. I felt it here and here. Yep. All right, now, are you come on. The protein skimmers? <laughs> Quickly, tell me yes or no. <laughs> He's holding back on the protein skimmer for two years. Yeah. You know it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's yeah, get him back in the water. It's going to let me get to you. Now I can just grab him and put him in the water. Yeah. Yeah. We right, definitely, we we definitely felt it. I felt it. I felt it in your hand. I felt it. No, that wasn't the I felt it when Josh. Yeah. All right, he's going back in the tank. That was for science, people. That's as much as I want to push him. There he goes. Back at home. So Tesla is back in his tank. He is looking great. There's nothing wrong with him he was not harmed in this experiment so I just wanted to point that out however we did take the leads to this light we actually cut it down to length and we attached it to them copper probes and now they are in the water so now whenever Tesla eats whenever I drop water in there you can see this light actually light up sometimes will come up whenever I open that this lid and uh, he will let off a big shock. He's not doing it right now. He's super calm. But uh, that's what we did. That's where we're go going to leave it. We're just going to have this light on top of it, this tank. So if someone happens to be over here, he can't. they can see him in action. But for now, we are done. And I hope you guys enjoyed this cool experiment on the electric eel. We might try and do more things like this with other fish just to show the neat experiences that you get to you know deal with when dealing with monster fish well, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you want to see more crazy adventures with the ohio fish rescue be sure to hit that subscribe button and as always stay fishy my friends